to now let the body of Christ know of what the Lord God has done for you. The year 2022, we know there's been ups, there have been downs, things have happened, but we're here. And by the grace of God, we're going into 2023. So if you would like to share with the body of Christ what the Lord God has done in your life, please raise your hand and, and come forward, please, and let the body of Christ know. Please give us a brief testimony. Amen? Amen. 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 Okay. <laughs> Good evening, church. It's been a tough journey for me since I've been in this church. But this year, God has done everything around what enemy meant for evil. Amen. I slept on my sister's floor for months. I had a house, I had to live it. But through it all, I never gave up on God. And this year, I have my own apartment. I have a new job that pays more than ever got paid before. Amen. It's not easy, but I love it. Amen. And I just give God the praise. We got to do not for him. And not for pastors standing the gap for me, it will not be done. Amen. So I just want to thank God that my son graduated college, he's working, I have a job, I have an apartment, and everything that used to happen before, it's a lot better. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The door is open. Who will come forward and testify what the Lord God has done in your life? Please come forward, Sister Bianca. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Hi, good night, church. Um, I just want to thank God. I'm very, very grateful to be here. Um, in the beginning of the year, I was like really, really crying out to God because it was like very, very hard. And I was crying out to God and I was like, God, I'm just so tired. And I want to thank him because in the beginning of the year, he just encouraged me. I just felt like, you know, like patting me on my back, like, keep going. Don't give up. And then, like, um, throughout the year, he used so many people to encourage me. And he used so many people to help me to, like, keep going and not to give up, even though it's very hard sometimes. But I just want to thank God for not giving up on me. Even when I was not faithful, he has been so faithful to me every single day. He wakes me up and he helps me. And I just want to thank him for not giving up on me. And I also want to thank him for my mind because the battles that I go through in my mind, I know like if I was to tell some people, they might like try to diagnose me with something or they would say something is really serious here. But I want to thank God that even despite what I'm going through, yeah. that I'm able to like be in school and I passed all my classes and all my finals. And it's just like, Not based on us, but it's really based on him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Will there be another? Hallelujah. Please come forward, Sister Hope. Praise the Lord. 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 I exalt the name of God for this ministry. I'm really thankful because I know since I came here, my life has never been the same. You know, God has been faithful. I know there's so much that God, I cannot start telling you everything that God has done for me, but I know that God has been faithful to me. I also, I've been believing God for healing and I thank God that this year that God did it. Amen. He did it because I've been going to the hospital and they never found anything. They always told me that everything was okay. There is nothing wrong with me. But by the grace of God, in the summer, I started you know, seeing a gynecologist. And for the first time, they did the scanning. They did everything. And they said, oh, we can figure out why this problem is there. And by the grace of God, it was taken out, 
with no any because i thought was, i had to go for surgery but it's like oh it's a little thing and since then everything stopped i'm healed i'm okay you know because this thing actually you know when you are bleeding for so long it's actually drained your your strength you're unable to do a lot of things but i thank god that god has been my strength in the midst of all of those things so i'm here to give god the glory not, not only that i know in the beginning of this year what the devil showed me the picture he showed me for this year is different than what god had a plan for me so i'm here to give god all the glory praise the lord amen hallelujah will there be another hallelujah Sister Aurea. Hallelujah, church. I just want to quickly thank God for my happiness and my joy. I know it comes from him. I thank God for my deliverance. And um, I just thank God for growth and maturity. And also, I, I want to thank God for taking the taste of alcohol out of my mouth, taking the taste of um, any weed out of my mouth, and just making me feel like all I need is him. So I just thank God. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Awesome testimonies, amen. Will there be another, Sister Yvonne? Amen. I just want to thank the Lord for his faithfulness, and I just want to encourage everybody to not to compromise. Um, in this year, these past few years I've worked for the government, God gave me more boldness than I've ever thought I could have, and I did not compromise. Amen. And I have gotten three raises this year. Amen. God is faithful. Do not compromise. Even in when you don't think no one's watching, the Lord is watching and He will repay. Amen. So I thank God for that. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Will there be another? Praise the Lord. Brother Anwar. Um. So my first time coming to church, I was just entering college. I'm in my last year of school. I'm still in church, still serving the Lord. Um, this has been a very good year for me. Um, sometimes I think about the favor that God gives me. It blows my mind. It doesn't make any sense. You know, from he blessed me with an internship, blessed me with speaking for the CEO in the internship, blessed me with going to Nigeria, you know, it's, 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 it's just all around, God's been good to me. So I thank God for his mercy and his grace. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Will there be another? Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I have a testimony. Oh, Apostle. Oh, hallelujah. Well, I do have a testimony. God has been so faithful. And when I look at my life and just where he's brought me and my family through, you know, there have been times of ups and downs, but I just thank God that he kept us. And specifically, the ordination that occurred, he gave me, through the Holy Spirit, the position of pastor, and I thank God for that position. Amen? Amen. Amen. I also thank God... only increased me in levels in the spirit realm but also in my secular job um, I went from and the way God did it is I'm still baffled right now I went from AVP over a couple years or so and just recently um, a couple months ago I started a new job with another bank with a VP title Amen. God increased us so much that even my husband and I, we looked at each other like, is this for real? <laughs> Something that I accidentally applied for, the, I thought it was an accident. God moved it where the hiring manager said, no, we don't want to give you an AVP slot, we're giving you VP. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. So I give God all the glory, honor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I also um, have a testimony. 
And um, I want to thank God for the first lady of this house. Amen. Let me tell you something I really appreciate about her. She allows everybody to be the first lady. Amen. Pastor Tayo allows everybody to be the first lady. Some people, they will not let you enter their territory. Some people, some first ladies, listen to me, some first ladies, you can't approach the pastor unless you approach them first. You can't even dream of talking to the pastor without going to the first lady. And God gave me a wife that is so interested in the progress and welfare of the ministry. Amen. A wife that I don't appreciate her enough. Mm, I don't. You know what? A wife that wants to see the progress and welfare of everyone in the ministry. Amen. Honestly, when it comes to overcomers in Christ, she has been there from the beginning and she has been faithful from the beginning. Amen. Just like Pastor Cor- uh, Fiolin said, there has been ups and downs. There are always going to be ups and downs, but through it all, when I look at it from start to finish, she has created a conducive atmosphere. Remember, majority of the people in the church are women, in most churches. Yeah. And she has created a conducive atmosphere for every woman to thrive and to shine. So please help me appreciate Pastor. give God glory for what he's done for me and you know this ministry I I just there are times where I've just been to myself but God has blessed me with people in this ministry friends you know Pastor Coraline um, Apostle First Lady I just there's I'm telling you like if I could just explain what I've been through this year it would just but even through the storm, you know, God was with me and he still is. And, you know, even at my job, God gave me a raise and I'm just so grateful. And I'm in this ministry and I'm just singing for the Lord and just giving him glory. Even in the times where I feel so alone. When I worship, I, I, I'm not, you know. When I worship, I'm not alone. And, um, you know, being able to worship here it really helps me um, in the times where I feel wrong because God is with me. And I know I'm blessing others and I also feel blessed too. Amen. So once again, I just I'm just so excited for the new year and I know it's more to come. <laughs> yeah. We can still take one more or two more. Amen. Um, good evening, church. Um, I just quickly want to say, blessed are those who are persecuted for the name of the Lord. And I thank God for his keeping power. And even if there are times of pain and times of trial, um, I know that God is working. And 
In the midst of trials and persecution, he brings us nearer to him. And I thank God for the leadership of this house who demonstrate that the, and, and just encourage us to press in because when you press in, great is the reward. And the Lord said you will be persecuted for his name's sake, but hold tight. Um, and so I give God so much thanks for keeping me, for sustaining me, for strengthening my love for him in spite of people trying to tear me away from him and getting me to a place of compromise. I thank God for keeping me. Amen. going to wait until Sunday, but I just want to say 2023 marks 10 years since I've been in this ministry. I'm a member from Fulton Street and then to Rogers, so it's a family, and family, we have our family, but I thank God for the leadership and for the family, because it's a family to me, my siblings, my brothers, we have our differences, but I love everyone here, and I thank God. I was going to wait until Sunday, but 10 years in this ministry since 2013 till now, so I haven't turned back. Thank you, Pastor Ty, who I love, Pastor Coraline, Apostle, Pastor Valiant, Pastor, um, Pastor Theolin, and everybody. God bless. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In this year of divine acceleration, the testimonies will keep coming. OCFA will be hosting the manifestation of signs, miracles, and wonders. Hosted by Apostle Maria Pavadia and Pastor Coraline Baird, the meeting will take place at the Aloft Hotel, 2745 Jackson Avenue, Long Island City, New York, 11101. And it will take place on the 7th of January from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. On January 15, 2023, OCBA will have the manifestation of signs, miracles, and wonders. This meeting will be taking place at 134 South Valley Road, West Orange, New Jersey, 07052. And the time will be 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. This meeting is hosted by Apostle Edimudia Grabadia and Pastor Valiant Amundsen. See you there.